Hey everybody, welcome back to Eric's Tree Service. This is Eric with Eric's Tree Service in Montrose, Colorado. This video is brought to you by GapArborSupply.com and WeaverArborist.com. They are both supporting my channel and my podcast, Elevated Office. Go check out Elevated Office if you haven't yet. You can find it on all the um, common and popular podcast sources. Uh, you can get it through Spotify, Apple iTunes, and also Google Play. So today, as the arborist tip, we're going through a very important thing that should be understood by every groundie and every crew member, and that is when your climber or a climber has a line set and it is attached and ready to climb on, especially if he is climbing on it, do not touch that line without first asking and communicating with him. Now. You definitely don't want to adjust the anchor point, especially on like SRT or MRS, I mean, I'm sorry, um, SRS systems, but even still, you just don't want to mess with it a whole lot. The only thing that you might want to do, and this is only if it's a, if you're experienced enough to know, first off, and second off, if it's a, this is an immediate risk factor, is you might want to take the tail and re-secure the anchor if you feel like it's a high potential for failure however one of the greatest things we ever in you know invested in was the Senna unit and this allows us to communicate so personally before i touch zephyr or any other climbers line i say hey alert there's something i don't feel is comfortable and he communicates to me that it's okay for me to do some adjustment. Sometimes it may take a few seconds for him to get his lanyards in or whatever, but you want to communicate clearly. Do not mess with anchors or lines that somebody is climbing on or about to climb on without communicating first. You can literally kill the person or hurt them severely. If they're in the tree, you can scare them and then they'll try to do an emergency evacuation, which could cause more um, accidents or injuries. So always have open communication. And if it's a anchor like this one for an SRS or an SRT system, and they're gonna top tie in to make it more secure for them for moving around the canopy, even if they tell you, okay, undo my anchor point, let's do a top anchor now don't untie this until there is absolute confirmation that you can untie it don't say oh okay can i undo this and they say yeah it's fine and that be it make sure that they have confirmed they are off the line and you can undo it now the other thing i personally like to do is i like to make sure that they have their lanyards supporting them and i ask for them to give me slack on the tension side and that way I know if there is slack on the tension side that they are no longer hanging on the line. So if I do undo it, they're not gonna come falling down, okay? This is extremely important. We'll talk about more aspects of communication and other tips, but when it's dealing with climbing, adjusting lines, resetting lines, even if it's dead branches and stuff caught in the line, and I know that the line's gonna make a slight jar, before I touch that, I communicate with the little climber so that he knows that that's about to happen. Also, if he hasn't climbed yet, I make sure that I adjust the um, branch and let him know I adjusted it or I'm going to before he even gets on the line so that it doesn't shift on him and scare him or her, you know, whoever. So just a few tips that I thought were important and I will see you guys in the next one.